Contestant referees Bella Evan Smith and Timmy Whiteley. We congratulate both teams, those being the Bogan Bulls and the Flaming Goliath, for making the Western Plains 2024 Tri Trade Grand Final. As you see the Mingan Bogan Bulls to the field. Just to ask everyone who is not a reserve or a manager, coach, water boy, to be back behind the white fence. Thank you.
Fletcher Jackson from the Ningen Club. Could you just please come to the announcing table? Fletcher Jackson from the Ningen Club to the announcing table, please. Attempt there successful for the Bowden Bulls. The Bowden Bulls seven beat the Flaming Goliaths nil. That conversion attempt was successful for um, by Megan Seymour for the Indian Bogan Bulls. to the Bogan Bulls through um, Alex McLaughlin. The Bogan Bulls 12 beat the Flaming Goliaths nil. Oh, 
Next quarter.
Flaming Galaz in the 2024 Women's Tri-Tag Grand Final. Scored there by Heidi Ferguson. The Ingrid Bogan Bulls 12, lead the Flaming Galaz 5.
Charles.
Welcome to Algie Friend Oval at Walgett for the 2024 Grand Final between the Flaming Galars and the Ningen, Ningen's Bogan Bulls. The half-time score, Ningen, Ningen are leading 12 points to 5 over the Flaming Galars. Oh, it's on, it's on. It, this punch has been thrown. At, we think we're back in the 80s. Great to see a bit of spice out in the bush still. Wow. Well, that's the last thing I thought we were going to see in the women's game anyway. Definitely the last thing we thought we were going to see in the ladies game there. Megan Seymour from Ningen has made a diving tackle and grabbed the tag. And the lady from Galar has obviously taken exception to it and punches have been thrown from both parties, I believe. But the, the girl from Galar has been asked to leave the field um, as the aggressor. And the penalty goes to Ningen. Is it red uh, yellow. Oh, red striking, so she should be sent, yeah. No, she's sitting down. It must be any... I don't know. Number seven for Galar, Tegan Watt has left the field with 12 and a half minutes in the third quarter. Line out here has been lost by Ningen. Turnover to Galar. Knock on with a scrum. Tegan Watts has been given eight minutes in the bin there, but it's probably the try tag rules a little bit shorter than, than the men's game. A little bit of a shame because it's, it's been an unbelievably good grand final. Um, both, both sides are attacking very, very well. Anyway. They'll be under pressure for a little while, the Flaming Galars down one for the next eight minutes. Our, our sides today for the Flaming Flaming Galars, no, number one is Abigail Phillips, former Tamworth player, Heidi Ferguson from Armatree, Sarah Chandler from Gilgandra, Michaela Gordon from Cobar, Peter Bradley from Armatree, Tegan Watts, local Galar girl, Lucy Irish, Caitlin King, she's a New South Wales rep and vice captain, Sharma Steedman, Kelsey Hutchison, Paige Wilson. She was a Commonwealth Commonwealth Games high jumper and she's the vice captain number number thirteen, Paige. She had a very big grand final last year at Warren. Number fourteen, Chelsea Broom. Fifteen is Carmentine McIntosh. Alana Clark, a new girl from Casino. And number twenty, Steph Preslin for the Bogan Bulls. We got one as Jasmine Burke. Two is Courtney Watt, Australian representative as Oztag. She's an Ingen born and bred girl. Three is Sarah Pierce, who is also the coach. She's come on to add a bit of experience from the team. Four would be Molly Smith, daughter of Catme Transport in Ningen, Kieran and Anita. Five, Abby Parry, another local girl that we've got. 
six, Alex McLaughlin, Father Jim, long-time Bulls representative and steadfast supporter of the Bulls and McLaughlin families. Seven is Liv Milsom, Millhouse. She's a local girl from the year. She's just joined us. Eight, Jessica Baker, daughter of Jack and Deanna Carter. She's come in for the year. She's had a great, great impact on the game. Had a lot of experience, Jessica Carter, to the team. Nine is Maddie Laurie, a local. She's out at Gerrard. Daughter of the Motley Kelpie operation. Ten is Talia Simon. She's cousins with Megan Seymour. She's come from Taree with her partner Bailey, who's playing in first grade team. We've got Amy Motley, sister, obviously, to Maddie Laurie, also out at the Gerard Complex. Twelve's Juliet Denny. She's out working for the McLaughlins. She's like, I'm not sure where she's from. And then 13 and captain, we've got Megan Seymour, who's come over from Narromine with her partner, Cy Beer, who will also be playing in the first grade fixture here today. Oh, you can go. Molly Smith's taking the ball at fullback. She's spread the fence. She's oh, she's got a late offload. She's got a late offload. Oh, Ninga now attacking on the first tackle, five metres out from the glass line. That's a wonderful run by, wonderful, wonderful run there by Molly Smith. Hands, Megan Seymour, dummy and go, but she's been tagged. Still five metres out. Ninga is shaping out to the right. They're screaming for it. They want the ball wide. Ben Broach. Uh, we'll work out what Ben Broach has said here. I think I think Ben Broach has ruled that there's been a knock on by Ningen. I'm just conferring with the touch judges now. No, he's overturned his decision. The rest change yep, so it's a Ningen play the ball on the third tackle. Up to Serenity Sheila. Ooh, she tried to do it herself. Ningen has still got numbers to the right. They're swept out. Oh, they've put a kick in. Oh, it's deflected. This could be anything here. Oh, dived on by Galar. Oh. I don't know if Ningen should be doing that, but anyway. Drop out here by the Galahs. That's a good drop out anyway. Taken by Talia Simon on the full. She's looking for a bit of space out wide. Matty Laurie's been tagged. Ten metres out from Galahs line on the on the eastern try line, sideline. Good run there by Liv Milsom. Talia Simon again. Oh, Ningen's knocked on. Right in, right in front of the post. Galar will have a scrum five metres out from the own try line. He's ruled it tagged first. So Ningen have still played the ball on. Tagged a metre out of the line. Knock on there from Galar with a kick from Regan Seymour. Ningen's feed. Get a whole tackle of six on the try line. Juliet Denny's coming off and Abby Parry's going onto the field. She appears to be injured here. Courtney Watts picked the ball up off the loose ground and he's just got plenty of speed to burn and she's outpaced a lot. Try to Courtney Watt. Definitely not an orchestrated play there, but she's shown her experience in the speed and she's gone over out wide. The Australian Oztag representative, Courtney Watt. Nine, Courtney Watt, the Bogan Bulls, 17. Speed 
Oh, right. Your last substitute player about to re-enter the field. Number seven, Tegan Watt. That's her eight minutes up. Proved a little bit costly in the end with Ningen scoring a try while she's off the field due to that overlap. Still a very tight contest here. Only two tries in it. Both two very, very good defensive teams. Great pressure there from Glass. Sees Megan Seymour miss her attempt at conversion with a score remaining 17 to 5 in favour of Ningen. Ningen to kick off now. That's a big kick. Good tag there by Ningen. Oh, a draw and pass and a knock on there from Galar. Let's play on. The ref has said play on. Amy Motley's picked the ball up. And Amy Motley scored a runaway try from a knock-on ball. Just like that. That might have been Dave, a father. You could hear her yelling on the sideline. Conversion again unsuccessful. The score remaining 22 to 5. Conversion attempt there was unsuccessful. Score remains in Ingen, a Bogan Bulls at 22. The Flaming Galars, 5. Ningen with another kick off here to the same spot. Good tag there by Ningen. Ningen are coming up with his defensive line very quick. And kick put in, it's been touched by Ningen. Molly Smith picked it up at the back. She's taken off. Passed it to Jasmine Burke. Good run there by Ningen. Ningen looking to spread the ball wide. Good run there by Serenity Sheeta. Big up and under there from Megan Seymour. The bounce has gone wide. Uh, taken over the sideline by Ningen.
The last play at the end of the third quarter here for Galar. The kick put through by Galar. They got plenty of chases. Serenity Shades is running across to defuse the kick. She's had a slight knock on, but that's the end of the quarter. That's the end of the Galar. That's three quarter time in the women's tri tag 2024 grand final. At three quarter time, the Nick and Bogan Bulls. <laughs> Kick off by Ningen, taken very well by Galar there on the charge. She's beaten the first defender, she's beaten two, she nearly had three. That was a great run there from Galar. Another good run. Galar have come out in this last quarter. They've got nothing to lose and they're going hell for leather. At this stage, the Bulls, 22, the five. Good ball movement there by Galar. They found a bit of space out wide. Missed up, good tag there in the end. That was a great run. They've picked up about 20 metres in that play. Number eight, Lucy Irish with a great run down the sideline. And shifting the ball wide again, Gallard's worked for him. Kicks charged down, another set. They get another set of six for Galar. All the girls are hot. It's a freezing cold, 31 degrees here today in Wilgot for the grand final. Loose ball dived on by Ningen. Jess Baker. Matty Lowe's made a clean break straight through the middle. She's showing a clean pair of heels here. She's been tagged there by Paige Wilson in fullback. She's done a lot of cover work today. They're looking to attack quickly, but Ningen has gone wide there to Juliet Denny. Picked up again by Jess Baker. She's cleaning up a lot. So, yeah, pushed the pass one too many times there, Ningen, and they've paid the price. Glar come away with the ball. Play continues here. Tagged there by Ningen. Good run here by Paige Wilson. She set up outside of it. That's a good cover defence by Maddie Laurie. That's a better kick this time for Galar. The referee has gone back there. Good kick, good kick, great chase. Good run there by Abby Parry. Great dag there by Hurdy Ferguson coming off the line. That's a very good tag there. That's a very good tag. Number 14, Chelsea Broom for Galar. Good run there by Peter Bradley.
Jess Baker with yet another tag. She's been very good in defence. So as Avi Parry. Loose ball. Play on. Uh, looking for answers here. They're going a bit stagnant. Trying to find runner. That's a great run, but that's a great run. Great run there by Shana Steedman. Jess Baker, yet another tag. Penalty, Ningen were all offside. She's gone straight through. Peter Bradley's gone straight through and she hasn't been tagged. They've missed a tag on her, but a diving attempt by Molly Smith gets her right out the line. She's five metres out now. Galara really on the attack. They're calling for it out wide. Galara got numbers. Goes to number nine, Caitlin King, who's thrown a quick ball. But it has been ruled a forward pass. So Ningen get the ball. Five metres out from their line and they've got to work their way out of trouble. Good tag there by number two for Galar, Heidi Ferguson. Courtney was looking for space. Oh, she just tiny a bit too quick. Galar get the ball. They're about 25 metres out from Ningen's try line, so they'll be on the attack. I need to score here to make a real sniff, make a real game of this. The score remains 22 to 5 with roughly eight minutes left in the final quarter. I have to back this scrum quickly, which they're trying to do. Scrum fed by Sarah Chandler. Heidi Ferguson passes it out to Kelsey Hutchinson and Paige Wilson takes off and she's tagged there by Molly Swift out wide. They shift left again to Peter Brady. Peter Bradley, sorry. Good ball moving here by Galar. Good last minute tag there by Liv Milsom. Galar go left again. Raid down the short side. Another good run there by Peter Bradley. Referee Ben Broach has played advantage. They've got another set here. Galar. Great diving tackle there by Molly Smith, it would appear, to save a certain try. Good tag there. Great tag there by Ningen. Oh, knock on there. Knock on there. Be a Ningen ball, five metres off their own line. Roughly, roughly five and a half to go. 
31 degrees here. I don't think anyone will be in any rush to back this scrum. The cars and buses lining up everywhere. It looks to be a very big day here in Walgett. Go to New South Wales Rugby. Um, yeah. Uh, New South Wales Rugby TV. Yeah, yeah. Just a Western Plains. Ningen play the ball here. Amy Motley shifts it to Molly Smith. Back to Abby Parry. Yeah, it's Good tag there again yeah, sure by the three, Sarah Chandler. Ball shifted here to Court Watt. Wrap round to Watt. She's got speed to burn. She's pulled the pin butt. Ningen are slow getting to the play of the ball. Knock on there by Megan Seymour, it appears. Galar get another chance, but they really got to capitalise now. Four and a half minutes left. They're going to have to pull a couple of tricks out here. Here's the scrum, Heidi Foygerson takes it forward. She's had a massive game here for Galah today. She's been in everything. And Paige, she's thrown the ball there to Paige Wilson who split the defence straight up the middle. Galah score and takes the score. Ningen 22, Galah 10 with a kick to come. Galah still got a sniff. They need two quick, two quick tries and they'll be back in this. It's a grand final day and anything can happen. Kick successful there by Peter Bradley. Takes the score to 22 to 12. 10 points in it. Great try there to the Flaming Galahs by former... That try there by former Commonwealth Games high jumper Paige Wilson, the vice captain of the Galah side, who are starting to make a late surge to try and get back at Ningen, but it, they may not have enough time. There's only, there's only about two, two minutes and 50 seconds left in this grand final. It's 20, 22 points to 12. Conversion was successful, 22 points to 12. Ningen over, over the Flaming Galahs. About two minutes 50 to go. Ningen making a break out wide. Oh, another knock on there. They're getting a little bit of a sniff here, Galah. A bit fired up after that last try. Both sides are getting a little bit slow. It's been a very, very hot day here at Walgut. 31 degrees here today at Walgut. It's a hot day to play football. But both sides have to endure the same conditions. Here's Galar on the attack. Galar get it wide. Heidi Ferguson. He's number eight, Lucy Irish for Galar there, Redhead. Oh, bounces out. Good kick for Galar. Pines touch. Only one minute to go. Have taken the option for the line out. Ningen have taken the option for the line out. It looks like they looks like they should hang on here, Ningen. Molly Smith, the jump. Molly Smith, the jumper. I think she might have a few relations around Wild at this Molly Smith. Gone oh, it's gone over the back. Galar have picked it up here. It could be a late try for Galar, maybe. If they can get it wide. There goes the former Commonwealth Games high jumper. Paige Wilson, look at her go. She's going for another one. 
Oh, Nelly got there too. Grounded by Ningan in the Ingall area. Paige Wilson in pursuit. We're on second gauge, and he just turned up. They're a bit worried here. I don't know what they must have had a bit of trouble with the bus. We're all running to the change rooms. But Burke Bree are been ready for about an hour or so, and they're all looking dressed and fit and ready to go. And Warren bus has only just showed. I think there must have been bus trouble. Oh, got put down on the far side there by by Galar. Juliet Denning, great tackle there for Dingan. Five seconds to go in this grand final for 2024. The kick goes in. There goes the Hooter. It's a premiership to the Ningen Bogan Bulls. First premiership for the Bogan Bulls girls. The crowd's ecstatic. It's been a tough run for the Flaming Galahs. They lost last year's grand final to Walgett and they've lost again this year. Maybe they could be back next year for a premiership, but full congratulations to Ningen Bogan Bulls. They win the premiership. Twelve. Sophie Carrier there, Ladies and gentlemen, my understanding is that the presentation for the women's tri tag will take place very shortly before the girls too far away from the field. Fantastic job. Um, I have up here presenting the awards with me today uh, Angela Hannigan, our zone secretary and, and competition manager, and Vivian Slacksmith, who uh, is a life member of the zone, and she's been on the Western Plains Committee for many, many years. Uh, I'd also like to uh, mention our major sponsors, Woodham's Petroleum, and Yeomans uh, Engineering and our other sponsors, Never Tire Hotel, All the Guy Electrical, and also our sponsor uh, of the referees, Morales Bakery. Thank you for your support for the 2024 season. So, firstly, just like to acknowledge our match officials here today and uh, thank you for your efforts. Uh, could I please call upon our referee, Ben Broach, to come up and accept the referee medal? Did a fantastic job. Congratulations on refereeing the grand final. <laughs> Our next award is for player of the grand final. Very challenging to choose this one as there was plenty of talented players out there today. So the player of the grand final from the Bogan Bulls, Courtney Watt. Zone. This award is for our best player over the entire season and is chosen by our referees with a point system assigning three, two or one points to players after each game. And the Zone player of the 2024 from the Flame and Galahs, Paige Wilson. Oh, sorry. 